Hi everybody. In this demo, we will talk about how to transaction an item in primary as well as in secondary UM. In this demo, I will cover creation of item in dual UM, creation of a sales order, booking of the sales order, quickly ship confirm and finally invoicing of the sales order. To begin with, let's create an item test01 in master org with the primary as each and secondary as dozen and let's track this item in both primary as well as the secondary. So once the item is defined, assign that to the transaction org for my case it is M1 and create a stock of 100 each. So once you navigate to the on hand quantity you can see the total quantity in primary is 1200 each and in the secondary it is 100 dozen. Once the item is created, let's create the sales order. In the sales order, let's create line 3.1 in primary UM and second 4.1 in secondary UM. That is 24 each and 3 dozens. And the conversion of that in secondary UM is 2 and 3. Since the line 3.1 was defined in primary, the secondary quantity is 3 dozen, but the line 4.1 was created with the order UOM as a secondary UOM, so secondary quantity is still 3 dozen. Let's book the order and then perform the pick release and ship, con ship confirm from the shipping transaction form. Let's navigate to shipping transaction form and perform the pick release and ship confirm. Once we perform the ship confirm, the line status for the delivery details will be shipped. Here the important thing is the requested, requested quantity for the delivery details. The requested quantity for the delivery details for line 3.1 and 4.1 was 24 each and 36 each and it's not 24 each and 3 dozen. It is because we always shipped in primary UM and not in order UM. As it is very clear from this, uh, this transactions that we always ship confirm or we always ship in primary UM. So this is as you can see the ship quantity is 24 and 36 each and it is not in secondary UM. Once the ITS is run let's navigate back to the sales order form. In the sales order form the order was 24 each and 3 dozens and the quantity ships also show me 24 each and 3 dozens. But if you navigate to the database and look for a field shipping underscore quantity in OE order line salt table, there you can notice the shipping quantity is 24 each and 36 each and not 24 and 3 dozens. Let's run the interface, uh, let's query into the array interface line salt table and see the status. In the array interface line salt table for the line 3.1 I can see the quantity is 24 and line 4.1 it is 3. So it is very clear from our interface lines all table we invoice in order UOM. If the order UOM is primary we will invoice in primary which is the case in 3.1 but if the order UOM is secondary UOM we invoice in secondary UOM. So if your requirement is to create the invoice in secondary UOM my suggestion here is create the order in secondary UM. That's all for today's presentation. I hope it will be helpful to you. In case you have a question, feel free to email me. My email ID is there in my blog. And this is my blog address. Thank you very much.